Uh, what's it feel like to beat Stanford, be an Oregon Duck? Oh, it's the greatest thing ever, you know. These guys always give us their best shot. And, you know, for the last couple of years they've got us. But this year, you know, it's just a great feeling to, you know, take care of it. And being a Duck has been, you know, one of the best things. And it's been a blessing. All right, how did it feel tonight? You got in. You got in. I did. Tonight. I did get in. Um, you know, it wasn't as much as usual or what I would have liked, but you know what? As long as the team wins, it's all that matters to me. A lot of people, you know, you're back in high school there, and you're going through. You want to play at a big time mm -hmm. Division One yeah, school. Yeah, what, you know, how does this compare to what your expectations were? Um, well, you know, to me, this is as, you know as big as it can get. You know, and you know, I I, I could have gone to a smaller school, or whatever, maybe played immediately, but that wasn't. That wasn't, you know, what I wanted. It's not what I dreamed for, of and, you know, worked so hard for. Um, coming here has been, you know, a blessing. It's been, you know, it's been challenging, but it's been, you know, I'm going to trade it a day for it, uh, you know, for anywhere else. What, what's a good day for you, uh, practice-wise, and being uh, a player here? A good day, uh, well, you know, every day is a good day. Some days are just <laughs> better than others. Yeah. You know, um, you know, just coming out and really seeing an improvement on, you know, what I can do, you know, uh, improvement on, you know, things I need to work on. That's a really good day, you know, and um, just helping, you know, prep the team either on defense or, um, you know, just really learning my assignment on special teams or whatnot, but just any way that I can contribute and uh, get better at, you know, contributing to this team is a good day. You've got Marcus Mariota in your locker room. He's got a shot here at the Heisman Trophy, and we hear about what a great teammate he is. What's he like as a teammate for you? Oh, my your God. Interactions? He's, you know, he's one of the best guys out there. There's nothing wrong I can say, bad I can say about Marcus, you know. Um, you know, just all-around class act guy, and he, uh, you know, he's just you know, he's a great friend, too, you know. Um, you know, it doesn't matter who you are or what or whatnot. He's always, you know, going to say hi and, you know, uh, you know, he'll give you give you his time. And, you know, uh, as a receiver, you know, it's great to have someone like him. You know, I've learned so much just about where to be and uh, what he's expecting when he sees his quarterback. You know, he's just, you know, that's the guy you want in your locker room. Um, well, I went to Monta Vista Christian. Yeah, I was, I was, I, w I was supposed to go. You know, I could have gone to Aptos, uh, but you know, things worked out that I stayed at Monta Vista. Um, you know, it's the the work ethic is what I got there. We had like a 25 man squad, and you know, we, you know, counted on you know us individuals working our tails off. You know, to make it through a game, and up here, you know, from you know the guys down there, the, you know, what they always just told me is, you know, you know, treat every day like a game, and you know, just work your tail off. You know, everyone's working hard up here, but the only way a guy like you know, because me at being a walk-on is going to see, you know, advances in my career is to outwork everyone. The hardest worker has to be the second hardest worker to me. When you you know you decided to walk on here, you could have gone other places. Why choose that road, which a lot of guys would say it's tougher. I mean, you get you're gonna have to fight for playing time, but you, you're getting there. Yeah, you know, I uh, I had a chance to go to San Jose State, and you know, um, I talked to Coach Neil here briefly, and you know, I came out and checked out the place, and you know, had stars in my eyes. <laughs> but you know, something my dad always told me growing up is if you settle for a donkey, you'll never ride a horse. And not to discredit San Jose State or any other school, but this, you know, this is the highest achievement you can get. And, you know, I, I wasn't going to turn down this opportunity for anything, you know. It, you know, it may not, you know, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how much I was going to play if, if I was ever going to play. But, you know, the fact that I could say that I came here and I did this, you know, that was enough in itself. But, you know, also being that said, just coming here wouldn't be enough for me. You know, I wanted to figure out a way to play. And, you know, I knew it was going to take hard work. So, you know, I feel like once you get to the best place, it's up to you to learn from the best and make yourself the best. What's uh, locker room here like versus Monta Vista Christian? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's uh, quite different. Uh, well, you know, seeing as everyone in the locker room back in, in high school, you know, was just half of you know what's here. But you know, uh, do, is that what people ask you about when you go back? Do they go, "What are the uniforms like? What are the locker rooms oh, like?" Or yeah, what do you oh, get? Absolutely. I mean, okay. Well, if you want to know, yeah. compared to the locker room there, it was like a little uh, twist Dude. lock, a little door, probably like. You know, uh, I could fit. Maybe, I couldn't even fit my helmet. In there. Yeah. Um, but you know, here, you know, the locker room atmosphere. You know, when I first got here, was 
you know, it's kind of tough because I'm used to having my buddies around me and whatnot. Yeah. And here I didn't know anyone, but now, you know, I, it, it's, you know, it's just, you know, it's a place where I hang my hat, I guess. You know, I just go in and, um, you know, it's just part of the daily routine. And it's, you know, it's unbelievable. The facilities here are, you know, something else. Um, it's, you know, it's a gift, you know, the way I take it. You know, every day is because, you know, not many people get to do this. And, you know, coming from that little locker to the coming to this big one where my pads will drop down and whatever, it's, you know, it, 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 it makes you realize how blessed you are every day you come in. Just the little things. Yeah. Awesome.